Illegal immigration and drug trafficking have always afflicted the wild and remote Big Bend sector of the Texas-Mexico border, but never to the extent of more civilized and populated sectors of the border. And so Border Patrol agents were parceled out accordingly in a truly vast landscape, their ability to see helped by technology. Now, though, the sector always known as the comparatively quiet teacher's pet has been hit by the mass migration crisis that many observers assume was only happening elsewhere. Cartel smugglers on the Mexican side are guiding many thousands more illegal immigrants than historically normal through Big Ben's otherworldly landscapes along hidden routes, a 365% increase this first quarter over the same quarter last year. And it's only getting worse. The Border Patrol stands pretty much at its pre-crisis size. It's completely overwhelmed, its agents believing they may catch one or two out of ten illegal immigrants. Half a dozen on a shift covering 60 or 80 miles of border. All day and night, the few do what they can to track and capture historically huge groups of guided immigrants. Here, a single Border Patrol agent abandoned his vehicle. Okay, so I was driving between Van Horn and Marfa on my way south, and I saw a Border Patrol vehicle parked next to a railroad track. And I thought I'd pull over and try to interview him, see how things are going out here. But his vehicle was abandoned and empty with the windows rolled down. And I followed the track from his car door to a fence line where I found a lot of migrant tracks look like this and it looks like he probably spooked them and went running after them so I've hopped the fence line and I'm kind of following all of their tracks and it just leads out into nowhere I mean there is no sign of life out there at all I have no idea how long or how far that guy is chasing after them it's doubtful he would have been able to catch one or two of them if any at all Lifelong area hunter and professional hunting outfitter Chris Leland is well aware of the many routes the immigrants are guided through here and how they so easily evade the few border patrol in this big Texas country. They're getting pulled out of here right and left going pulling babysitting duty and we just, we just don't see them. We do not see them down here. Border patrol. Nope. Our checkpoint up here this side of Alpine, for the past 20 years, since 9-11, it's, it's been manned pretty much 24-7. And ever since January 20th, it's been closed six days a week, it seems like. The battle seems hopeless without more personnel, more equipment, more of everything. Here near Van Horn, Texas, Border Patrol agents spread out again in their vehicles and on foot into a desert area. They use technology to help them see a scope truck with high-powered telescopes and radar. How big is the group? Yeah, it's, a, it's a good sized group. But this group will get to keep going. Well, I guess they'll uh, continue the hunt another day. These immigrants would be called gotaways. Uh, they'll be uh, logged in the books, I'm sure. I'm Todd Bensman, Center for Immigration Studies in Big Bend, Sector, Texas.